So welcome back to the Royal Arena here in Copenhagen. Day two of competition at the Total Energies BWF World Championships, the 28th staging of the World Championships. Two more matches to come today, and next up is a mixed doubles. The number 11 seeds, the home pair of Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boya up against the pair from Chinese Taipei, Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng. Really is a magnificent arena, cost one billion Danish kroner. Seats 13,000 for sporting events. Well, this is the second quarter of the draw and three-time world championship medalists and Olympic gold medalist Wang Dongping. She's in this uh, section along with her new partner Fang Yang Xie. Also another Chinese seeded pair, the number eight seeds, Jiang Shengbang and uh, Wei Yang Xin. They're safely through to the third round already. So this is one that the home fans uh, can get involved with and enjoy, and I'm sure they will. Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boya. What a year they've had so far. Two World Tour titles. Their first ever World Tour titles. The Spain Masters, that was a 300 event, and then the Singapore Open, which was a 750. Quite clearly the best result of their careers so far. Young Po Xuan and his partner Hu Ling Fang are always dangerous as a pair. And both can play level doubles as well. In fact, if you were with us yesterday, you would have enjoyed Yang Po Xuan uh, playing men's doubles with Li Zhe Hui. He won that match. So this will be a fifth meeting between these two pairs. And of the previous four encounters, uh, Christiansen and Boya, the Danes, have won three of them. But I think far more significant is the fact that it was the last three encounters that they met, that they won. Last time was at the Indonesian Super 1000 earlier this year in the very first round. Three tough games. So the third game was very convincing, as you can see there. 21-9 in exactly an hour of play. So the Danes get to choose which ends because the pair from Chinese Taipei won the toss of the coin and have chosen to serve. Well, as far as the Danes are concerned, they must be full of confidence in that win in Singapore. They were absolutely delighted with that, and rightly so. Matthias Christiansen is 29 years of age from the island of Bornholm in the Baltic Sea off the south coast of Sweden. Six foot two, that equates to, well, I had him down at 188. Currently number 11 on the world rankings, but you can see he did reach as high as four with his former partner, Christina Pedersen, with whom he won the India Super 500 events back in 2018. Alexandra Boya, his partner, both on court and off from the medieval town of Horsens in East Jutland. 173 is about five foot eight. And apart from winning two World Tour titles this year, they were bronze medalists at the fairly recent European Games. 
by virtue of the fact that they are the seeds, all of the doubles, uh, it's uh, 48 in the draw, so all seeds have had a bye in the first round. Young Paul Schwan uh, will turn 27 tomorrow. Wouldn't it be lovely for him to have an early birthday present? Probably I shouldn't have said with that with you sitting here, Steen. You've been a Dane and the home fans will be cheering the home players on, but for him personally, that would be lovely. 186, six foot one, so he's a tall athlete. They're currently 31 on the world rankings, but as you can see, they have been as high as 27. That was at the end of March earlier this year, for just one week. Ready to play. Huling Fang, 25 from Kaohsiung and five foot seven and a half and uh, they had a thrilling first round match against the canadians neil yakora and crystal lai 21 17 in the deciding game a match lasting 45 minutes Umpa Nonaguchi of Japan and Freak Cox from the Netherlands, our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yang Po San, Pu Lin Fan, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Matthias Christensen and Alexander Boe, Denmark. Pu Lin Fan to serve to Matthias Christensen. Labo, play. So the pair from Chinese Taipei, Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng, are getting this second round mixed doubles match underway against the number 11 seeds from Denmark. And I'm guessing, Steen, that for Christiansen and Boyer, this is a really tricky opening match for them. Yeah, it is, it is a very tricky opening match because uh, they, they have to play their best from the beginning, which is... Um, not easy. And the opponents have had a hit in the arena. Actually, at least Young Po Swan has had two because he both plays mixed in the men's doubles. I'm not yeah. sure if Hu Ling Fang also is in the women's doubles. I have to admit that I haven't. I don't think she is. And um, yeah, they were they were not too fond of the draw. Um, overall because they saw a lot of <laughs> Chinese flags close to them and um, and feel that, that it's difficult to play against the Chinese so I'm also not sure how, how is the playing conditions going to be they won Singapore which is a very windy stadium and here there were signs that it could be a bit um, more slow playing conditions and they of course hope for something similar than uh, Singapore well, they've certainly made a good start for love. And that'll help settle nerves if they were a little bit nervous. Good rally. Yeah. Service over. Three, one, four. Well, the first time I remember being very impressed by this pair from Chinese Taipei was in the semi-final of the Malaysian Masters 500 event last year. They lost in that semi-final to Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong, who went on to win the competition. They had Two, match point four. at 2019 in the third game. Do you remember that, yeah. Steen? Yeah. They played so well. Oh, that's good a service. good serve. Three, four. Oh, he took the toll of the tape and got deflected. 
I didn't see that in uh, live. Oh, that's extraordinary defense from young Koshwan. Fall. Second time Fall. in the opening here where both Hu and uh, Yang have come forward, basically covering side by side on the uh, service line there at the net. Uh, this hit from Yang Shuan. Five, four. Well, it's been nine years since a Danish pair won a medal in World Championships in the mixed doubles discipline. And, of course, nine years ago, the event was staged here in Copenhagen. Five is over. Five. Yeah. Oh. It's Christiansen's former partner, Christina Pedersen, and yeah. Joachim Fischer. Ooh. She missed that one, Huling Fang, but I liked it because it sort of sent a message to the Danes, hey, I'm going for these ones, yes. so you better play them sharp because yeah. otherwise I'm going to be there. She started off a little bit hesitant at the uh, net, Alexandra Boyer. And uh, I mean, it's not that I blame her, I can understand it because it's really, really difficult to uh, to be the female net player in the mixed doubles because you have such short decision time and the impact can be uh, terrible if you, if you uh, get it wrong. And if you're a little bit nervous, then it's more safe to not do anything. That's why I, I kind of like Huling Fang's action to rallies a go. Boy. Oh, that's a great smash, isn't it? Across the body of Huling Fang towards the right hip. And, that, and that's super important for Matthias Christiansen to get this feeling that he can actually put it away. Oh, brilliant. Perfect, perfect placement. There. She's very proactive at the front of your court, Huling Fang. Over. Seven, eight. He used to play women's doubles with Xu Ya Ching. And I thought they were a very good pair, but they've since gone their separate ways, perhaps uh, disappointed that they only won one title together. Yeah. In fact, I don't think they won a title. I haven't got that wrong. I think they lost in the final of the All Old Masters when it was a 100 event. Wow. Yeah, I, there's a there's a reason or a, or a good point in, in specialising mixed doubles for the uh, Chinese Taipei players because uh, there's so many uh, strong male players as well to be paired up with. Ten. Seven. To the mid-game interval, Eleven, the Danes seven, with a four-point advantage. Even considering they raced to a four-love lead. They've maintained that. Okay. Eleven, seven. 
play. So players ready to resume. Uh, what did coach Jesper Holger say there? Uh, he said that um, the um, the key is going to be uh, the battle for the initiative in the um, so situation uh, flat game midcourt area. And the Danes, they can push um, if they're in a good position, a little bit above the tape. But when they push, they need to come forward because they feel that um, that young or, or who is, is going to try and block it to, to get the lift from the Danes. If they are falling behind, um, there's a possibility to lift it to the left-hand side of um, of the court to the to the left hand uh, corner of um, uh, Young and uh, Hoos um, side of the court. Oh. Clever service return from Young Post Five's one. Over. Nine, twelve. Stayed the Danish yeah. side. Yeah. Ten, twelve. Hey. Nice block. Four of the last five points to the pair from Chinese Taipei. No, you would serve. Five is over. Thirteen. 11. Oh, that's a great it's a defense. Good. She walked into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Five is over. Twelve. Thirteen. Steps forward on her defensive shot here. Watch this from. But I, I don't think uh, Matthias Christiansen should um, should uh, play full power on that shot. I think it's a really clever lift by Yang Poswan because it's quite flat, and that gives Hu Fang the opportunity to step forward with the racket high and block it and yeah. create the uh, counter-attack. Just one point in it. Just take the pace. If, if you're the Danes, take the pace off. Oh. <laughs> Even with a bit of trickery from Long Paul Schwan. 14, go. Played the behind the back shot. Here it comes. Oh, I wonder whether he was right to try and play that hard too, Steen. Yeah, I, I, w I was thinking the same thing, but then on the other hand, had he been successful, we would say, oh, that's magnificent. That's why he's so good, uh, Matthias Christiansen and so on. So at some point, you just have to accept that it's just, okay. Back. Everybody, yeah, and everybody yeah. makes mistakes. Yeah. It's it's an impossible sport to play error-free. When who 
when she last served here and, and made that error on the uh, flicker. It's like, I flick, why not? Uh, sort of. but, but you can't question, you can't, question, you can't evaluate down. every single rally. And, and sometimes, sometimes at least I tend to do that and say, oh, that could have been played better. Every rally can be played better. Yeah, of course. Good serve. Oh, he was early enough. He was hunting it. Yeah. Five is over. Fourteen. She just got a little angle on 16. it. Was it him? No, it was. In front. Yeah. Great. Played it to the middle. In between the two Danes. Oh, yes. Took it so early in the mid-court area. Matthias Christiansen. And when you're taking that half-court push early, you've got so many options, haven't you? Eighteen, fourteen. the pace of this brilliant boss what a super shot from hooling fun 15 18 she's courageous at the front of the court you know isn't she yeah no wonder the taipei coaches enjoyed that one got to be careful now because this 16, this first game has unfolded 18. the way they want to so should they end up losing it that's going to be uh, a tough cookie to swallow what? and there's some signs that uh, there's nerves here bad service return mm. Three straight 18. points, and now just one point in it. Uh, this is a huge point. Crucial. Oh. Another mistake. I would, this is where I would 18. try to change the shuttle. Oh. Let's see this goes out to towel down now. No. no. And here the umpire needs to say something to the Danes. Yeah. Who and Yang, they've been standing there ready to serve for 15 seconds. Pushed it wide. Extraordinary. Five straight points and now the pair from Chinese Taipei into the lead. Yeah. They've got to block the service uh, and really be ready on the fourth shot, the Danes. And of course, oh, that's a beauty. She's played magnificent. She, I said a moment ago, yeah. she played with courage. Yeah. And that was good courage too. And on the run of six straight points, it's now two game point opportunities. Extraordinary. Serves. Oh, short. Time's over. 19, 
20. Opening game okay. to Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Fang. Yang Po Xuan, Hu Ling Fang, 21-19. Seven of the last eight points to the pair from Chinese Taipei. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, this is why we love sport, because you just never know what's going to happen. The Danes look very much in control with that four-point advantage at 18-14. Well, the pair from Chinese Taipei coming good in the end. 21-19 in 17 minutes. Second game, Bravo play. Well, the unseeded pair from Chinese Taipei, Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng, are just demonstrating why you never, never give up in sports. And the Danes must be kicking themselves. What did, what did their coach say to them? Yeah, um, um, reiterating what, what they were trying to do, get the attack, get a, the initiative. And then they were discussing a little bit um, that, that it wasn't like there was a streak of points for the Chinese Taipei pair where where they had played um, significantly better. It was just that the Danes had um, missed some opportunities, and, and, and that's right. Um, <laughs> but it was a streak of points. Yeah. So it was like sort of... there was. I think Jesper Hogan was trying to sort of... Or he was perhaps fearing that they would be down and trying to cheer them up Two, and, and, and keep the one. spirit high. And um, that might be just the right thing to do. It is a tough situation when you're 18 14 up and then suddenly you end up losing it in, in yeah. double quick time. Good smash. And again, encouraging for Christiansen that he's able to uh, penetrate Three, the defense. Two. One of the things um, Jesper Hogo urged them to was if there's this battle and we're a little bit below the top of the tape, play it over them. We must dare to play the full court. And that could very well be what happened. Uh, in the final stages of the second game. Oh. Two Chinese Taipei players, they are they're just faster with the uh, racket, in my opinion, than the Danes. Four, three.
Yeah. Sounds over. Four. All. Oi. That last shot there from Boyer. From a Danish perspective, I don't like it. That's where I would like to see a block. She got away with it this time. Super return from who? Of the flick serve. Yes. It's gone well. It's landed on the blue carpet. Five, four. That's gone wide as well. Sideways drift. Uh, and applause from the coaches. And I think it's the lift to the uh, back line that the Danish coaches are satisfied with. Oh, that's well taken. Yeah, and we played that. With a broken string. Seven, four. It's a nice bounce back from a Danish perspective after losing uh, the first game in the, the manner they, they did. Time's over. Five, eight. Well, that had been a run of five straight points. Well, now it's time for the pair from Chinese Taipei to bounce back. Time's over. Nine, five. That excellent play by the Danes. I really like the flick serve from uh, Matthias Christiansen to uh, Hu Ling Fang. She, she's been uh, she's been too dominant when when uh, the Taipei player has has played well. So in my opinion, I want to get her away from the net, and uh, then they, there's more room to block it off because. Oh. Oh. Time is for goal. Too high. Too high. Called on Christiansen. Time's over. Six, ten. of what happened in the opening game is the Chinese Taipei pair start closing down the gap again. I think the Danes might get a little bit nervous. Nice Excellent drop. play. Super drop. But also, for, uh, not, not only the last shot from the hook, but also the play into the net from that. Ah, uh, that wasn't the one. It was before that where he played it into the net there, Young push one. Service return is going to be extremely important. I would just play the inner sight line here in the right side. Well, he wasn't in a position to really smash, was he, Christiansen? No. He was off balance. A 9-10.
four straight points. Five enjoyed. straight points. Ooh. They were again. They were clashing. Ten. Who actually Four. hit that? Was that? I'm not sure. Ling Fung, I think. Let's have a look. Have a look. Yeah. I think it was. It was who? Yesterday they clashed yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> He's got to work on his pose there. <laughs> wax on, wax off. Ten all. And it is the Danes who have a one-point advantage at the big game interval, having led 10-5. left Well, as the Danes were talking there, Steen, you were sort of nodding your head in approval. Uh, yeah, they were talking, uh, Matthias Christiansen was saying, yeah, they're, they're serving some good services. We, we've got trouble. Um. No, questioning about the formation of the Chinese Taipei pair. Sorry to interrupt there, Steen, what were you saying? Um, Matthias Christiansen alerted to the fact that they, at least he felt a little bit uncomfortable because Young was serving so well. So I think he was asking for advice in terms of what, what kind of return should I should I give there. But it was at the end of the coaching. Um, the early stages, as far as I heard, was reiterating what had worked well for the Danes and that they should use the full coach. They talked about when when the Danes got ahead, then um, Yang Poshuan, according to the Danes, got more um, um, what's it called? He got he got a little bit um, more careless. Oh, no, no, he, he, he was he, he didn't care so much, so he tried to play the uh, tricky shots, and and when they succeed. Um, that, then it was difficult for the Danes, so, so he sort of got the guts when, when they're behind. He said, OK, I, I need to do something, and it worked. So the Danes should keep pushing forward. Um, well, this pair is Denmark's last hope in the mixed doubles discipline, because the other pair in the draw, Matthias Tui and... Amelia Melund. Uh, they lost earlier today to Terry Play. He and Jessica Tan, the Commonwealth Games gold medalists. Yeah. Uh, had been uh, suffering from injury going up to this tournament, wasn't sure whether he could play, and uh, he was basically in tears after that loss. Oh, lucky neck for <laughs> Boya. Yeah. 14, Phil. There was the lift, I think. We basically want to stand closer to the net, the Danes. A lucky net caught there. Taken. And again, uh, Hu Ling Feng dominating 13, the net there. 14. Yeah. 
Then the loose shot from uh, Chris Jansen. And she's putting it away. little soft angled shots are so effective in mixed doubles. It's all got a bit fast and furious. Exactly. Change of pace, a slower shot. Well, he did well there, Chris Jansen. It's a very similar scoreline to the opening game. Yeah, but I think the Danes have been warned this time. Oh. <laughs> that had some vicious spin and tumble on it, yeah. didn't it? Side is over. 14, 18. Super return. Oh, the good flick side. My goodness me. Obvious shot was down the middle or even cross court. Play it straight down the line. That was superb. Two points away from the second game. That's, that's mm. nice, isn't it? Over. Deception 15, on the social 19. turn there. Switches it well, doesn't he? Straight down the line, then going cross court. And then it was an Three acute boys. angle cross okay. court. I saw for him, so far we lift it. Are you able to translate that without right. um, offending? It is before nine o'clock water. Yeah, 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 just one more time, one more time, and something be f in front of her. And I, I interpreted it as blocks in front of her, and then they're going to get the lifts. Brilliant. Ooh. Yeah. Now we're in trouble again from a Danish yeah. perspective. What did I say about yeah. him turning 19. the shuttle? <laughs> Two points the deficit. Me. Was that nervous or yes. 
that was nerves. 18, 19. Oh. One point in it. I remember what he said in between the games. Matthias Christiansen, Ganko Swan, yeah. serving too well. Short. Yeah. Two game point opportunities for the number 11 seeds from Denmark, Christiansen and Boyer, to level this second round match at one game apiece. It is indeed one game all. 21-18, the second game in favour of the home pair, Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boyer. My goodness, they were attesting the nerves of the home fans. That's well left. He could have played that, you know. 21-18, one game all. Nå, Når de står side til side, find hende. Right? Så, det var halvvej. Fort 1, 20 sekunder. Fort 1, 20 So it all comes down to this third and deciding game. Double play. The words of wisdom from the Danish coach. Um, it was like uh, <laughs> saying that uh, sometimes they play some really, really good rallies, but but so do we. And uh, when we're in the defense, we've actually done well. So it's like it needs to give them confidence in their defense. And, and the, the read is that when they lift well, then Jan Poshwan is just playing it downwards. He's not really going for the uh, uh, all-out attack. And uh, then there was some important things about uh, sort of blocking it uh, to the sides when uh, when when the uh, Taipei pair is standing um, front back, and if it's side by side, they want to try and play uh, Huling Feng when the Taipei when the Taipei pair is uh, side by side. Good coverage by Boy. He's gotten more confident. That's it. To uh, to do something to cover one of the sides. There's one place it's not going to come. It's not going to come in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's been extremely sharp on the little half court pushes to his forehand side, yeah. has Christiansen. And it's at least two outright winners with that cross court drive. Good play. The blocks. Yeah. And a bit of luck. My goodness, this is fast pace. Oh, oh that's great effort. My <laughs> boy. And a rally of absolute <laughs> confusion. <laughs> Whilst we're watching the replay, some advice from the Chinese Taipei coaches and as well from the Danes. Lovely return from Alexander Boyer, and we have to. I, I don't think we've given enough credit to how well he's serving Young Hoswan. Yeah, but just played straight across the net there. Nice to right into the corner. Four, five. Watch this return. Look at that. <laughs> Couldn't have walked over there and placed oh, it any better. It's a beauty. Got the net board on the return of serve. Five is over. Five. Schwan did awfully well because he thought his partner was going to intercept that one. She completely yeah. missed it. He managed to cover. And we can see what the plan is from uh, Huan Yang as well. They want to win the initiative as well. Want to get the lifts. Taken. Real commitment as she played that final shot, Alexandra Boya. Leap towards the net, racket arm outstretched. Very well played. Over. Six, eight. So much his native shot, Dermot, his Christiansen to push it from that mid court area. The block would have been much, much more efficient. Over. Up. 
Gott, 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 Did Wells reach the backhand? Yeah. That's the one that this one. Yeah. And that, then the next one as well. Yeah, she uh, she put it away efficiently, but I think it was the backhand block that she played that really set up the rally. Well, the Danes didn't want to change that shuttle. Cross the body again towards the right hip of Hu Ling Feng. Go to the change of ends, the big game interval, with a five point advantage. Christiansen and Boya. And they've got back that spring in the step that they started this match with. Still a lot of work to do. Yeah. So we have a little hills and so all of us have men from Korea from Korea from Korea from Korea from Eleven six, three. So eleven six in the deciding game in favour of the Danes, and they get a lucky net court. I don't suppose that was in the coaching, was it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Anything new that we uh, should know about? No, not really. If <laughs> Matthias feels that um, Young Pushwan is making his way forward, then uh, play it long. Trying to give them courage in the uh, defense, saying that uh, we've 13, stood our ground. Six. This is five straight points for the Danes. Whoa. Yeah, well played. Young Po Shuan. Time's over. 7 13. Yeah, that drop shot there. Decisive. Efficient Eight, yeah, at the but, front of the court. But he said it himself, uh, Matthias Christiansen, he's serving really well, young push one. Then why you keep pushing at the service returns? Why not just block it and start from there? They played themselves in trouble. Well, because Hu Ling Fang is standing there and she's been so efficient today. Yeah, I'll still How keep my chances there. How many into the deep backhand uh, or into either deep corner? Yeah on the returns from the Danes. I, I haven't seen it, but... I haven't seen it. That's a good smash. Yeah. There he is on that little half-court push on his forehand side once again. Shuan has lost his belief. 16, Trying a very eight. tricky little inside out cross court net shot, which was woefully loose. Uh, 
Good flick serve. Oh, that's delightful. 17, 8. Sudden, it's fun playing on uh, home soil. Yeah. Now they felt the pressure in the first and the second game. Now it's just delightful. Creeping ever closer towards that goal. There's three more points required for a place in the third round for Christiansen and Boyer. Wide. Wide. Make that two points required. 19. Eight. Nine of the last 11 points to the Danes. Match point opportunities. 20 match point eight. Well, it's fairly similar scoreline of the third game when they played in Jakarta at the Indonesian Open. Nice defiance from Huling Fang. Well, it was 21-9 in the deciding game. Yeah, it was. <laughs> in Indonesia, wasn't it? Will it be the same here? No, here's the answer to that. 10, 20. Twenty-one ten, the siding game on their third match point opportunity. The number eleven seeds, the home pair of Matthias Christiansen and Alexandra Boya, coming from a game down uh, to beat Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng. Twenty-one ten, deciding Watch game. A Not match lasting seated. four minutes shy Alexander of Boya. the hour mark. Nineteen twenty-one. 21-18, Umpire just confirming that scoreline. An absolute delight for the Danes. 19-21, 21-18, 21-10 in the deciding game in a match lasting 56 minutes. So they take leave of centre stage and we look forward to our last match of the day here on day two of competition at the Total Energies BWF World Championships. We've got the reigning world champion, the reigning Olympic champion and current world number one, Victor Axelsson against Christo Popov in a repeat of the European Games final.
early evening here in Copenhagen, just gone 